Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam with two pointed load. So we are going to find out the support reaction for this beam. How to analyze this beam? First, we know that there is a simply supported beam. So we will have a hinge support, and here, here on the right side, we have a rotor support. So these two supports are going to take the vertical loads that are acting on the beam. So it is a 2 kN load acting at a distance of 3 meters from the left end. And also there is a load of 3 kN acting at a distance of 3 meters from the right end. To find out the support reactions, we have to use the equilibrium equations. Either the summation of what moment at any point equal to 0, summation of vertical force is equal to 0, or summation of horizontal force is equal to 0. We have to use these three equilibrium equation to find out the support reactions. But keep in mind there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. That's why there is no horizontal reaction. We know that there is a hinge support. It can take the vertical load and horizontal load. But hence there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. That's why there will be no horizontal reaction from this beam. So this Rx will be equal to zero. Now to find out the support reactions, we, we can know that it is vertical reaction will be Ry, Ra, Y for example and here will be Rb. So we have to find out Ra and Rb, these two are unknown to us. So now we start with this equation, this equilibrium equation summation of any summation of moment at any point equal to 0. And let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to 0. At this point, we take the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. And also, let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. Now, it's very important to use this assumption in the whole problem. So, this is our assumption clockwise is positive, anti-clockwise is negative. So we start from this end, from the left end. So first load that is acting on this beam is 2 kN. And this produces the moment like in this way. It will rotate like in this way and will create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction. And in the clockwise direction is positive. So it will be plus 2 multiplied with the moment arm. Because moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm. So force is 2 kN here and moment arm is 3, kilo, 3 meter here. So we will multiply 2 with 3. So this is moment due to this load. Now we will also produce the moment from this load. So again it is in the, in the downward and it is in the, in the clockwise direction acting. So it will also create the moment in clockwise direction. So again positive plus 3 multiply with the moment arm. The moment arm is now the distance from this point up to this point which is 3 plus 3 6 meter. The last one that create the moment about point A is this load Rb and this is acting in upward direction so hence it will create the moment in anti-clockwise direction about point A so it will be minus because our anti-clockwise direction is negative. So minus Rb multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from B point up to the load where you find find out the moment so it is the whole distance it is 3 meter plus 3 meter plus 3 meter total is 9 so the summation of all the moment about point a equal to 0 these are all the forces that creates a moment about point a so now we shift this value just to the right side so it will be positive so we will get 9 rb equal to if you multiply this value it will get 18 if you multiply this value it will get 6 so now if you divide this value 18 plus 6 we have 24 if you divide this by 9 so we will get here 2.66 kilonewton it means our support reaction b is here acting is 2.66 kilonewton this is our reaction at point b now how to find out reaction at point a here this is unknown to us so it's also very easy now we will use this equation the summation of, summation of vertical forces on the beam equal to 0. 
so in this case summation of vertical force is equal to zero and let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative these are just our sign assumption so now the upward forces are positive so we have two upward forces one is r a one is r b so these are positive r a and r b and downward forces are 2 kN and 3 kN, these are downward forces. So these are all the forces acting on the beam equal to 0. Now we know that Rb is 2.66. So we will shift this all value into the right side and we will find out Ra. So Ra is equal to, if we, if we bring this into the right side, it will be plus 2 and plus 3 and it will be minus Rb. So Ra will be equal to the 2 plus 3, 5 minus Rb. Rb is known to us, it is 2.66 kilonewton. So Ra comes out to be, if we subtract this value, we got 2.33 kilonewton, which is the support reaction here at this point, 2.33 kilonewton. Ra is equal to, equal to the 2.33 kilonewton. So hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions. You just have to take care of the Three equilibrium equations, summation of moment, summation of vertical forces and summation of horizontal forces. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.